What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing the Ravens content every single day. If you want to see that daily Ravens content, make sure to subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell as well. If you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video, and I'm not happy in this video, the Baltimore Ravens have waived Dalen Hayes. That's what I'm talking about in this video because I was a big fan of Dalen Hayes. We selected him in the fifth round uh, two years ago in the NFL draft. We drafted him with Adafe, and it was like, these are the two guys, right? You have the speed and power of Adafe away, and then the finesse and insane bend of Dalen Hayes. And it was like, this could be a duo. You know, obviously, Dalen Hayes was a developmental player as well as Adafe, but like, hey, they work on their craft. They could absolutely become, you know, star players in the NFL. Obviously, we've seen Adafe get his chance. He's gotten better um, throughout his career as a developmental player. Dalen Hayes never really got his chance. Um, he's gotten injured the last two seasons and we've come into each of those seasons saying, Hey, you know, I think, I think this is going to be the year. This is going to be the breakout year for, for, you know, Dalen Hayes. He's been getting mentored by Justin Houston and JPP and Tyus Bowser. We were just waiting for him to get that chance. Then last year we drafted David Ojaba, but it was fine because it was like, Oh, he's going to miss the full year. We'll get some Dalen Hayes. And then we didn't get any Dalen Hayes. But now I'm concerned about the Ravens edge rushers because we don't have any, like we, we have the starters. That's clear, right? You know, looking at, you know, according to our lads, um, this is, this is the Ravens depth chart. Uh, we have Adafe, we have uh, David Ojabo. We have, it still says Dalen Hayes, but we don't have him anymore. Malik Ham. Um, they consider, you know, we obviously have Tyus Bowser, Tavius Robinson, Jeremiah Moon, um, and Kelly Sanders at the Sam linebacker. And then we have DNs, Brent Urban, but I, you know, he's a, he's a 3 4 DN, which he's playing three tech. Um, that's it. We have two startable players, three, three startable edge rusher. I'll, I'll consider um, Tyus Bowser an edge rusher as well. Um, we can use him there, but we have three players that like, I'd be confident. Yeah, you could throw him out there on the line. He may get a sack. Nothing against Jeremiah Moon. I actually do like Jeremiah Moon, but he, you know, he hasn't shown that he's going to be able to come in and, you know, dominate or anything like that. Show crazy flashes of dominance where it's like, okay, this guy could become a starter. And I've talked about it before. I already felt like the Ravens needed help in edge rusher. I already felt like we should sign uh whether it's Justin Houston, JPP, Leonard Floyd, whatever. I was very pro signing a veteran edge rusher because we need the help and we need a vet. We need somebody that can come in and get those sacks. And we now have two open spots on the Ravens 90 man roster for OTAs. OTAs started today. So um, I'll talk a lot more about them on Wednesday because that's the first media viewing um, is on Wednesday. So We'll get more information about that there. You know, maybe tomorrow I'll talk about things to look for in the off season. Um, you know, if you have any questions, always leave it in the comment section down below. I'll get to them. I'll make videos on them. But like cutting Dalen Hayes or waving Dalen Hayes is showing a lot of faith in David Ojabo and Adafe away. Unless they have some plan to sign somebody else. we are relying on very young, very young pass rushers in a very young defense. And that is slightly worrisome for me because, I mean, Justin Houston was great last year, right? You know, and we're losing that. We're not gaining it. Obviously, we're gaining David Ojabo, but like, if you think about David Ojabo, you know, he was, a first, he was going to be a first round pick. You know, so we're getting a first round pick edge rusher basically this year, but we're losing like, our most productive edge rusher the previous year. And the Ravens still needed help at pass rush. We didn't have an amazing pass rush. We had a lot more sacks than in previous years. But maybe Mike McDonald knows exactly what he's doing. Again, I don't think Dalen Hayes was going to have a five-sack season. I don't even know if he'd have a three-sack season. But it was depth. It was somebody that's been in the building and understands what the Ravens are trying to do. I think this really shows 
they plan on bringing somebody new in. And I hope it's Justin Houston. Not new, but somebody else in. I hope it's Justin Houston. I hope it's also Leonard Floyd. I hope we get a very good pass rush core you know, for this 90-man roster so that when we get down to the 53, we know exactly who we're going to be using, how well they're going to play, what their skill sets are, and get them working together. Because last year, the Ravens' defense didn't come together until we got Roquan Smith. And we lost Calais who is a vocal leader. We've lost Justin Houston, a vocal leader. We've lost JPP, who was a leader on that edge rush group. We've lost Marcus Peters, who was a leader in the secondary. It's calling for somebody to step up. That's all I'm going to say. Now we've cut Dalen Hayes, losing even more depth. Something's going to have to happen. Maybe, you know, obviously I think they believe in the players that they have, but I think Expect a expect a signing. Expect a trade. I, I would assume it's a signing, not a trade. We also lost Chuck Clark, another leader in the secondary. Um, we've lost a lot of leaders. Expect the Ravens to go after you know at least one more vet um, at the edge rusher position, if not if not secondary. But I, I really expect an edge rusher to get signed. I'm hoping it's Justin Houston. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts. You know, hopefully, you know, wish Dalen Hayes the best. Obviously, I, I hope he comes back. I hope he balls out. I saw I saw the Ravens, the TTB legend. Amon Marshall was signed to the uh, New York Giants. Wink Martindale gave him another shot. So let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on Dalen Hayes. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe for Daily Ravens content. I'll see all of you again.